Come on, this way. Okay, welcome back everybody to Shadow Ops Red Mercury. It is level 10, sort of Damocles. I have a Mac 10, hell yes. And also this thing, I don't know, Famas? F2000? Oh. oh yeah, I should probably kill these guys. Note that the guns that I have, my three and uh, we have to move. my three and two, are oh boy, I I fucked up and I took a lot of damage there that I shouldn't have. Um, my three and two are actually twenty round mags. Um, so on, that's a little dangerous. I'm gonna let Galena go ahead of me here, um, because. Enemies in this game start to get a little bullet spongy around this point. So I am going to be breaking AI a little bit more. Uh, now I've mentioned it a couple times, but the uh, the grates, like these floors, are actually considered solid by the AI. Cover me while I log on and get the access codes to the Red Mercury Lab. So what you do is you hide under the right one, and they can't see it. Wasn't effective there. Come on. But, like, yeah, you can't shoot them through this. It doesn't work. Hi. So, yes, I'm going to be just absolutely destroying the AI in this. It's fine. See, the duck is kind of like their natural state. So you can. There we go. That's the first. There we go. Perfect. That was actually really well done. Outside of the grabbing the health thing, which I did not want to do. You want to see, like I've said about a thousand times, and I'll say throughout this LP. Save the health. Hey. Hey. Ah! Oh, you dick. So now if Just you one more. can't tell... Now, you see these stairs. The stairs are actually considered actual objects by these guys. Uh, so you cannot use those as the hide behind. Or they're considered penetrable objects. Uh, you can actually shoot through the steps of the stairs. So don't hide behind those. I definitely took that damage on purpose. It wasn't that I forgot I where I needed it. to. Okay, we're not coming back to this room. You need to locate and destroy the other mainframes while I disable the security locks. Uh -huh. You head that way. Good. Okay. I've got you on the security lock. There are more heading towards you. They've cut the light. Be careful. They've cut the light. No! I don't know how I'm supposed to shoot that guy without taking a lot of damage, but it's the best I could. Okay, there should be a guy up top there, and then there's a bunch of guys who will rush at me down here. All right, let's fucking script it. All right, good, 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 good. Did okay there. There's more assholes. I don't remember you being there, but fine. Just take half my health. That's cool too. Fuck him. Of course. We're gonna hide underneath here. Notice his uh his move there to fire from cover. No, 
That was weird, wasn't it? Where'd this guy go? I saw one get past me there. I don't see him right now. Good. There was health in that corner. Yeah! Oh yeah, right. Even I forget this shit sometimes. I am just so set in my FPS knowledge of modern day where, like, these sorts of greats are not really there. Although, like, in a lot of games now, like, those railings, they're smaller and they're a bit more complex. Uh, we're gonna get shot. I don't quite recall how the layout of this next section is, but I'm gonna get shot. Level 9 is the level I know by heart. I could do that shit blind. Hayden, you're almost there! Which means you'll be shot in the back. Ooh. I think it's the first time we've run out of ammo while firing from cover. That is so jarring when it just nail like. It takes you out of the zoo. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Now, something you might want to know about this game is that the sound direction is uh, awful. Awful is a good term. Um, I cannot tell where those guys are yelling at me from. Those are the main things. We need to destroy Oh. Too much. Too much damage. Okay, watch this. And run the fuck away. Yep. Uh, those, these guys don't spawn in until you actually start the uh, process of planting that slam. So if you... What the hell? So if you um, actually, like, go and plant it all the way, it will get you shot. Yep, I him. So what we do instead is we part plant it. Hmm? Hey. There we go. Yeah, partially plant it then hide uh, and you'll be fine so you need to blow up all three of these and all three of them work the exact same way uh, only the first one spawns guys in instantly but the other two spawn guys in as soon as you plant this thing. so just get the cover and you'll be fine now I am not using the I'm not using the walkways as invulnerable platforms here because it's just not as viable. And you're also noticing I'm leaving all three of those health packs down there because none of these guys are that dangerous at the moment uh, as long as I remember to hide. So I don't want to waste the health. Good. All right, perfect. Yeah, see, not that bad. The next part is going to be bad. do that well. Okay. Nope, nope, stuck. I'm stuck. 
That was bad. That was really bad. That may have actually killed this. don't want to die. Like, the penalty for death is restarting at the beginning of the level, and that is bad. Okay. Just gotta be calm, think about this clearly. I'm on my way. Just broke that man's ankles till he died. That's fine. I'm effectively trying not to use this weapon right now, but it is my best long-range option, and it does more damage than the Mac-10. So I want this very badly for the last sequence of this level. And for this area. Oh my god, this area. Just gotta be smart. Okay. This is... This room here is just... It's harsh. If you don't know what's coming and you don't pace yourself for it, you can take a lot of damage you don't need to. You'll notice that I don't have any health in this room. Here we go! Okay. I need to get upstairs to the control room to input the codes, but I'll need you to activate each station in sequence on the ground floor. <laughs> I'll have to use these consoles when I get to the control room. Notice that these are not like one through whatever. These are just, it starts at five and it goes to like eight. I don't know why. I activated the magnetic couplings. Start the outer ring from terminal seven. That's it. So. This is always a sequence. The hell? Literally have never seen that one before. All right. I've got to disable the lockdown code. Okay. Got it. Now start the inner ring from terminal five. Uh-oh. 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 Oh no. Oh no, oh no. This isn't good. Fuck. Hmm. You get to watch this entire thing over again because I made a mistake. No, skip. Come on, yep. this way. Okay. So what happened there is that I was trying to be safe because there is no cover in that room, but a lot of assholes. Uh, and so what I did was I got my ass stuck. Look out! Okay. Not exactly my finest moment. But it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Come I'm gonna grab here. everything here. Uh, you'll notice we don't come back through a lot of areas. There's not a lot of backtracking in this game until the final fucking mission. Uh, so grabbing health when you leave a room is uh, generally pretty good. 
Hayden can jump about two feet in the air. All right. Keep trying to hop over railings like it's a fucking real video game. Cover me while I log right. on and get the access code to the Red Mercury Lab. Come on. That's the first. They should be above me. Yeah, there they are. Is he over there or is he behind it? Huh. I can only see this one guy. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh. Come on. There. What the hell? Guy. There it is. Just one more. Nope. Perfect. I actually got the uh, exact right spots for each one of these this time. Maybe I should edit this. Nah. Sounds like effort. This game is not about effort. If it was about effort, it would have done better. Hey. There. I've got No damage. You need to locate and destroy the other main plane while I disable the security locks. All right. You head that way. I've got you on the security monitor. Good. Thank. There are more heading towards you. Ah. Be careful. So what light do you think she's talking about them cutting? No, you for uh Alright, now I remember that there's a second guy up there. A second shooter even. Got him. That guy just fell through the floor. Excellent. Good. That's what we want to see. Okay. Notice, nobody there right now. Hayden, you're almost there. Now he's there. I knew he was there, I watched him, I shot at him as I went down the stairs, and he still hit me. Oh, the game is amazing. Okay. Those are the main frames. We need to destroy oh, the resource Okay, not as bad as last time. Bottom. Whoa! The stereo baton. You don't get that very often. Alright. Good enough. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. What the?
Good. I love that even if you have the exact wrong spot, they don't shoot you because of how deep the AI is. How? Come on. I can't do this all day. Okay, one more. Okay, this time I am not going to try to jump into a spot that I think is clever and that has worked for me in the past. What the? Come on. There we are. Ooh, good. That's that's excellent. As a matter of fact, we just picked up all the health we'll need to get to the end of the level, and a bunch of ammo. So I can't really complain too much. I mean, I'm going to. That was about as effective as I can get with that. No. Once again, I cannot get past this fucking box on my left. There, good. Even though I, I just stepped past it, the game, like, blocks me from going backwards. Good. Effective use of grenades. I always get paranoid about grenades in video games, and, uh... Just like I don't want to, I don't want to waste them because I might need them. And in this game, there are actually a couple of points where I have scientifically worked out that you need to throw a grenade if you want to do it effectively. This is not one of those rooms. They are waiting for you. Be careful. I'm on my way. Hadn't noticed. Can I have your gun, please? It seems far more effective. Okay. Mm. Backtrack. Just a bit. This is why you cache help. As the game suggests in one of the uh, things. Don't just grab every health pack. Of course, there's another one there that I forgot about. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Go grab that health pack. Be right back, Glenn. I thought the guy ducking was shooting. I also thought he was dead. No buttons to hit here. Good. Here we go. I need to get upstairs to the control room to input the codes, but I'll need you to activate each station in sequence on the ground floor. We'll have to use these consoles when I get to the control room. I have activated the magnetic couplings. Start the outer ring from Terminal 7. I've got to disable the lockdown code. Okay, got it. Now start the inner ring. 
was more painful than it should have been. We're gonna go fill up. It's fine. that bad just get the six we're okay health is fine health is okay uh... hold on i'm starting to overload the system it's almost ready go to terminal a to initiate the destruction oh how how in the fuck are you still alive uh and i'm almost out of ammo for that gun which is why i was saving it in the first run but that's Leaving. Seems bad. Uh oh. I guess this giant magnetic sphere thing is uh, just gonna explode and I'll be okay. I can't go anywhere, so we're just gonna watch it. Yep, any day now. Any day now. Yeah. There we go. Let's get out. Yeah, it it literally took that long to get there. Yeah, here we go. So that was fun, right? We're uh, going to get a cutscene, and uh, then that's going to be the end of the episode. Uh, obviously, this could have been shorter, but now you've actually seen the punishment you get for uh, failing in the mission in any way, like getting stuck like I did or dying. Uh, you have to start at the start. Not the most fun in the world, believe me. Uh, some of these missions are actually fairly long, especially like the last few, and uh, restarting at the very beginning is just harsh, man. But uh, let's uh, let's get the cutscene, and then we'll uh, we'll start up next time. Bye, everyone. I can't believe you let Vladdy get away. Yeah, well, Vladdy is somebody a lot closer to home than we thought. He's ex Black Saber, my old teammate. What? He's an American? His real name is Wesley Holden. Last time I saw him was on tour in Panama. That's where he lost his left arm. And to top it off, he's still holding me to blame. And you let a one armed bandit get away with both red mercury bombs? What do you mean, both? There was only one. Where is the second bomb? I never saw it. Only the one briefcase. Great, now there could be two runaway trains. Have you got those where? Vladi is set to meet a contact named Boris in Chechnya. They call him the chemist. He is the one who can weaponize the Red Mercury. Once it's active, they will have a 12-hour window to use it before it goes dormant. Get there, Frank, and get that damn bomb. The G8 summit is tomorrow. If we fail, every leader in the free world could die. We won't fail. But please, be careful, Frank. I'll see you soon. Stick to the mission, Hayden. Then you can stick whatever you want. <laughs>